Good morning. Super excited. I'm up here in the Hiawinas. Little solo overnighter. Gonna do some fishing. Gonna go back a couple miles, two or three, to a lake I've been to earlier in the year. Uh, the lake does crank out big brook trout, and uh, that's kind of where I'm headed. I might change my mind as I get up there, but that's kind of the plan, so. Uh, it's gonna be a little cold. It was about 43 when I got out of the truck. That's not bad at all. Probably dip into the low, low 20s tonight. Totally fine with that. The fire restrictions up here are finally lifted so we can actually have a fire, keep warm. I got a pretty awesome dinner, an awesome breakfast. But for right now, I'm gonna focus on the trail. delicious water. I am at camp. I'm going to put my tent about right here. And uh, nice little fire ring right there. There's actually some uh, wood left over probably from the last time I was here back in uh, early July. But super excited to be here. That bird scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, anyway, excited to be here. Uh, I'm going to get set up and get on the water as quick as possible. I'm going to do a lot of fishing today. This lake is challenging to fish. It's hard, but when you find them, they hit and they hit hard. And I'm going after big brook trout. I've said that before. All right. Now you can see behind me, I am all set up. I'm fixing to uh, rig up a couple fly rods and head down to the water. You know, it was only about an hour and a half hike in here, and I drank like 32 ounces of coffee on my way up. So uh, I don't need any coffee yet, but we'll need some soon. Stunning. It's incredible down here. Uh, there were a few trucks in the parking lot, past a few hikers, uh, you know, near the trailhead. And other than that, I haven't seen anybody. Wouldn't expect to, but you never know. It is the rifle uh, deer hunting season that started, I believe, today or yesterday. But those guys, uh, they won't come back here. Well, just to show you what I'm working with in my wet fly box. Uh, I spent a couple hours tonight and tied all these up specifically for this trip. Uh, those leech patterns have been very successful uh, for me here in the past, so that's what I'm going to start with. I am rigged up and walking down to the water. I have developed uh, my coffee appetite, but I've been thinking about these fish ever since the last time I was here, so I'm going to go down and fish for about an hour before uh, coming back and having some coffee. Got some camp chores that need to be done, and uh, I showed you what I was working with. I got one of the bruised leech patterns on my five weight and a little midge variation on my three weight. I snapped my uh, Orvis five weight on the Provo River, I don't know, probably a week or two ago now. So I've got my uh, old Reddington rod. Been a great rod, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna get started with my first couple casts. Uh, I have already seen a really big brook trout rise, so I'm predicting a first cast monster. If I can get out of this line, windy. Here we go. So it didn't happen on the first cast.
that's what seconds are for. Yeah, sloppy, but I'll work with it. Fat. Look at that chunky pig. Yeah, beautiful fish. It was a handful. Okay, it is uh, just past noon, back at camp. I was on the water for about an hour and a half, maybe even closer to two, but one fish had a few strikes, really, really windy, but you know, I, uh, Caught one fish, so I'm really happy with that. Really healthy fish. I'm gonna take a break, do some camp stuff, collect some firewood for later and in the morning, have some coffee, eat something, then go fishing some more. Cheers. Ah, delicious coffee. Taster's choice. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, that coffee and uh, beef jerky hit the spot. I've uh, chained some flies. I got another leech pattern on and a dry fly on my three weight. Heading back down to the water to fish. It's pretty much what I intend on doing until dark. I'll probably take another break at some point, but I'm gonna do a lot of fishing. So beautiful, check this out. Again, I'm going to start with the leech pattern. Need a little more drag on there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wind will blow that right back in my face. Into another. Looks like a beautiful fish. Let's see if we can't bring it over here to where my net is. They just love those leech patterns. <laughs> wow. Look at that brook trout. Look at how big that is. We're gonna get it released. Oh boy, uh, my big camera was off so I didn't catch that. I barely got it on my GoPro. Uh, that was a pig. That was probably a two and a half pound fish. Uh, huge, huge fish. So I'm gonna go to bed happy. I'm not going to bed yet, but uh, wow. <laughs> 
dang, there's big fish in here. <laughs> Back at camp. Uh, oh, wow, just awesome. Uh, I've caught a, a few fish now, four or five. I think I've only got two or three on camera. One of them was just a, a big, huge football. Awesome. Uh, gonna do a couple things around camp. I need a little bit more wood. I got a Mountain Dew over there that I gotta put in the creek to start cooling down that I'm gonna have with dinner tonight. Yeah, we're doing ribs. I got a frozen rack of ribs. Take about an hour to cook in the fire, so. Eggs and hash brown for breakfast, but we'll worry about that in the morning. So, yeah, awesome. Awesome time up here. Yep, that looks like as uh, good a spot as any to cool down a Mountain Dew. And I also collected some water. I got a filtered water. A little gravity bleed. I'm gonna let that one just gravity flow. I am tired of rolling that thing down. So, uh, while my bottles fill up, I'm gonna collect a little bit more wood. I don't need a lot, just a little. Oh boy, the wind almost stopped, but it's uh, it's back again. So anyways, it's about 4.30 and I am back down on the water. Uh, I'm gonna fish probably uh, till 6.30 or so. I may walk around the lake a little bit, but I'm gonna fish till, uh, or hang out down by the lake anyway, till about 6.30, then head back to camp and get a fire going so I can get some dinner going. I'm really hungry, but uh, yeah, here we go. Came off from the net. Hey, that barbless hook, you know, it uh, lost tension and came off as I was getting it in the net. We'll take it. Ooh. Feels like a good fish. Oh, yeah. not to break it off. Woo wee! Another beauty. Look at the size of that thing. Fat. Oh, I love it. this guy back in the water. Beautiful fish. Oh, beautiful day. Uh, I'm just getting back to camp. I'm going to start winding down. I think it's about a quarter after six. Uh, I was going to stay by the water, but it's getting cold. My hands are starting to get cold from uh, handling the fish. Uh, pulled in uh, five or six more fish down there, and I think I caught a few on camera. It's really cold, so it keeps draining the battery on my big camera. But really good sized fish. Uh, that one was just a freaking football, and I caught a couple of those. So I'm going to break down a couple things, probably get my rods put away. I imagine if this wind stops, which it's starting to die down, it's going to have a small film of ice in the morning. So we're going to break down a few things, get a fire going, get some ribs going. Oh boy. Uh, it's gonna be incredible. Been a while since I've had backcountry ribs, so we're gonna get started on a few things and we'll check in here in a bit. That sure feels good. So I'm just gonna get a little bed of coals, uh, then we'll get the uh, ribs on.
There we go. We got the rib rack on. Oh, the sun is setting and it is just incredible. Blues, oranges, reds. Wow. Yeah, the ribs are starting to sizzle, so that means they got about 15 more minutes. Should be done. It's a pretty small rack. And I am just right down here at the creek to fetch my Mountain Dew. There you are. Uh, they look done perfectly. I'm going to really enjoy those and the Mountain Dew behind it. We'll get eaten and then I'll be in the tent here soon, so we'll check in when we get there. Whew. All right. Uh, it's about a quarter after 8, maybe 8.30. Just getting in the tent. I got a couple movies that uh, I'm going to watch, at least one, maybe two. If I can't sleep, I'll watch all four. Who knows? But... Had a really great day. Um, super psyched on some of those fish. Just, just tanks. Um, yeah, love it up here. This is probably my last how you win a backpacking fishing trip of the season. Thanks all for tuning in. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is a uh, quarter after seven. I'm just getting out of the tent. I did sleep really well. Uh, probably shouldn't have drank a Mountain Dew right before bed, but you know whatever so i'm gonna get a fire going uh, just a really small fire so i can get just a little bit of coals so i can cook my breakfast as that's happening i'm probably gonna start breaking down things packing up and uh, we'll be on the trail pretty early but really looking forward to a good breakfast before hiking out of here look at all that wonderful stuff there we got some uh, eggs the hash browns pan with butter coffee my favorite part of the morning I love the smell as this hot water hits the coffee. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take this over to the tent and uh, drink it as I start getting things packed up and as soon as that dies down we'll probably throw the pan on and get breakfast going. Get a little cube of butter in there melting. Yeah, a little more. This is probably going to take about 10 minutes to brown. Uh, then I'll get some eggs in there. It smells great. Oh, yeah. Get these eggshells in my garbage bag and pack those out. Now I packed my chair up. Ooh. <laughs> Might end up eating this on the ground all over myself.
I just packed my chair up, so I'm going to sit on the log, uh, finish my coffee, finish my eggs. Then I'm going to clean my uh, pots and cooking stuff over there in the creek, and I'm going to get a couple uh, bags of water to come and put on this fire. So, almost packed up. Uh, we'll be on the trail in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Should have brought a little salt and pepper. Mmm. do uh, two or three more of these then finish getting packed up so beautiful out right now so I am packed up and on the trail uh, I waited around for a minute to make that make sure that fire was cool to the touch walked around a couple times making sure I wasn't leaving anything behind and uh, yeah here we are walking out of here I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of filming and put my camera away and uh, just focus on getting back to the truck uh, overall had just an incredible trip uh, probably the last time you're gonna see me up here um, on dry ground anyways so great way to close out my main backpacking season and uh, we're looking forward to winter we'll see you on the next one